Oh, sure. Yeah. No, no. No, I'm sorry. Now, get yourself another lawyer. I'm through. I'm off that merry-go-round for keeps. I don't know him a thing. And everything I can do. Well, don't look at me like that. That guy's a hoodlum, a hoodlum who doesn't want to be anything else. Well, come on, where'd you move? Hmm. This time he really fixed himself. Killed a cop. Got himself a murder rap. Oh, sure, sure. I know, there must be some mistake. And poor Nick is innocent, and what a heel I am to be sitting here playing chess when he needs me. Well, you're wrong, honey. If he's innocent, this is the first time. Move. Ah. Uh, all right. You win. I'll go talk to him. But I won't promise you anything. I'll just go talk to him, that's all. Anything to keep you quiet. Well, shake hands now and come out fighting. What about this jury? Manicurist, conscious of a person's looks. Uh -huh. Handsome, Nick. Social worker, good. Grandmother, firm believer in the gentle Christ. Good. Jewish refugee, ex-professor, naturalized. He'll know about persecution and slums. Truck driver, <laughs> plays chess. Good. Mix them well and shake before using. You see, in every man's life, there are pinpoints of time that govern his destiny. In his adolescence and his youth, a push to the right, a life of honor and credit. A push to the left, a life like Nick Romano's. I first met this boy about six years ago. At that time, I, I had a small law office of my own with a few associates. Mate, get out of that one. Anything else? Just the Romano boy. Romano? Yes, you handled his father's case, Mr. Morton. Or rather, the office did. Oh, yes, the, uh, the grocer. Where is he? He's in prison. Been there for four months. In prison? Well, that's impossible. The customer came at him with a knife. It was a case of self-defense, plain and simple. You turned the case over to Mr. Elkins. Oh. What's the story on the Romano case? Well, Andy, you see, the old chap doesn't speak English much, and the DA made a monkey out of him on the stand. Well, go on. Well, then there were there were a couple of character witnesses that I couldn't find. Did you try hard? Well, I figured whatever the old boy got, the judge would suspend. Only... Only you didn't. Did you move for a new trial? Well, uh, no. Since he'd be out in only a year or so, I figured that... What do you mean, only a year or so? Do you think you got the right just because you have a fancy law school degree to botch a case this way? Well, Andy, you, you told me to do exactly what I thought best about it. You remember, you were busy with the Davenport will. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's my fault. That's all, then. Well, let's have a talk. I want to trade you for a good chess player. Oh, Miss Holiday, send the boy in. 